Le Boeuf. Le Boeuf or Le Feuve is one of the pioneering French social theorists. His work has been cited by many urban planners for their city life. Le Feuve, my man, had written many books and essays on city structures. He was a professor of sociology at the University of Strasbourg and the New University of Nan, I think it's Nanterre. During the 1900s, city planning was still a very much infancy, and there was a clear lack of dedicated time to tackling. The Feb stepped in, like he does big boss man, and pioneered many city planning theories such as right to the city, production of space, and critiqued everyday city life. He introduced post-structuralism and urban theory. Feb worked primarily focused the social side of cities. You know those cities? And how people use the social space in and around them. His work on social theory and social dynamics showed that it was the people themselves who influenced the structure and formation of space. He thought those social dynamics and social structures that govern on us, like many other things that govern us, many cities would cease to exist. He also viewed the city, him, as a body of work amalgamated with the collective artist expression of the residents and his chains of interactions and actions produces the social side of urban planning. I don't know if you understood that, but I surely did not. Social space is a social product. The space that's produced also serves as a tool of thought and of action in addition to being a means of production, of control, and hence of domination of power. It can be drawn down as three levels of analysis for the following types of social space, the actual space, physical, discursive, representation, and the lived space, the human experience. The physical space or the abstract space of Lefebvre's term is constructed by various actors, Ooh, the big man, the king, the lords, and now we are the big man's architects. In modern day terms, these are developers, governments, and architects. We don't like those governments. This could be viewed as objective space and must have a physical presence for people to interact with. The third one, which is even more confusing, representations of space refers to discourses about a social space. For example, the events disclosure, disclosure not the discourse, around the building of H2Q, H2Q in Queens, New York by Amazon. You know Amazon? The billionaire boss man, the one with the dollars. However, this space did not even exist until it became a social topic for conversation. The physical existence of a space is irrelevant so long as a discourse about it exists. Oh, that wasn't the third one. That was the second one. This is the third one. The representational space is the lived experience of people who interact with the space. If there is an absence of lived experience, the space should not be considered a social space. Lefebvre was influenced by the theories of communism by Karl Marx. He thought cities would change if capitalism was just replaced by other political ideologies such as communist theories. This probably stems from his experience of the political struggles of Paris at an underlying time of war and strife similar to Karl Marx and thus it re-emphasizes that the social structure and actions of people are what drive the production of space.